Heinemann Higher, Chapter 7 in Polynomials, Exercise 7, the mixed exercise at the end. Number 7, a longer question, a form of a higher question. Here are two functions. Find this composition of functions first of all for part A. Well, f of g of x means f is going to act on what g produces, which is x minus 1. And what f of x does to anything it's hold of is it cubes it. So I'll have x minus 1 cubed. That looks a bit of a pest. It does minus 2 times the square of it. That's not so bad. Minus 5 times it. That's OK. And plus 6. Now that means I'm going to have to work out x minus 1 cubed. I'll have to work out x minus 1 squared anyway. But I don't want to fit it all down here. I think I'll do this, just do this bit at the side. So x minus 1 squared is simply square the first, twice the product, square the last. Which means that x minus 1 cubed will be x minus 1 times that. Of course, all these answers can then get transferred over there. You have to shift over a bit for a bit of room. So that's going to be what? x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus an x squared plus a 2x minus a 1. So that's x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. So there's the two parts that I need then. That's the square of it and that's the cube of it. So I have to feed that into this. Then I'll have to bump this over a bit. So I've got the thing on its own. So I've got x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Just notice to put a wee 3 there. Minus 2 times just the square of it. x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus, I might as well keep it inside its brackets since the rest of the family's in there. And then finally plus 6. Now multiply that lot out. So x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1 minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 2 minus 5x plus 5 plus 6 almost there x cubed minus 5x squared many x's have we got here we've got 7 so that's only plus 2x numbers we've got take away 3 plus 6 is 3 and 5 is 8 for the first part. So f of g of x should come to this. Now part b says fully factorise f of g of x. Fully factorise this expression. Right, I'll use my synthetic division table here. Where's my coefficients? 1, negative 5, 2 and 8. And then it's just a case of how quickly can I hit upon a number. I've got 1s and 2s and 4s and 8s and each of them positive and negatives to try. Naturally, you would try the one first. I'll just pop in a one, so that'd be one, one, negative four, negative four, two. That's not going to work, so forget that one. So I'll try instead of that. Negative one, just plodding through them. Negative one, one, negative one, negative six, six, eight, negative eight, zero. It worked. Now, I'll make a wee statement because it is a higher question. The remainder is zero. That means that x plus 1 is a factor. Even though it didn't say directly demonstrate that, I'll just put that down for safety's sake. So, my factorisation is going to be this. I've got x plus 1 was a factor, and since it's a factor, the remainder is 0, that must be the quotient, so that must be the remaining factor, the quadratic factor, which I then just factorise myself by inspection. It must be x, x, 2 4s are 8, so it must be 2 4. And a negative to the bigger, that says that they're both the same. So that would be the factorisation then. So part B, there we go. Now part C says, a function k is such that k of x is 1 over f of g of x. For what values of x is this function not defined? Well, what is that? That's just going to be 1 over this thing here. So it's 1 over x plus 1, x minus 2, x minus 4. Now, the only time a function won't be defined will be if you put in some numbers that won't give any answers, like the square roots of negatives or division by zero. So that's going to be not defined. I'll just put a statement down here. It's not defined if the numerator, the denominator, if this expression in the denominator is ever equal to zero, because I can't divide by zero. And that will be the case if, no, I just need to solve that, x is equal to 
either of the numbers that would make any either of these brackets equal to zero. So in order that would be if x was negative one or two or four. The function wouldn't be defined if x was either of any of those numbers.